Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to JCC Chicago and the Florence G. Heller JCC Early Childhood Center here in Lakeview. I'm Addie Goodman, President and CEO of JCC Chicago. It is truly an honor to be at the J today with such esteemed partners and guests. Thank you to Cook County President Tony Preckwinkle and Cook County Commissioner Scott Britton for extending your hand and partnership on efforts to put an end to hate and anti-Semitism. Thank you to JCC Chicago's steadfast lay leadership with David Nankin, Chair, JCC Chicago Board of Directors at the helm. And thank you to our friends at Cubs Charities, represented today by Alicia Gonzalez, Cubs Charities Executive Director, for your ongoing support of our early childhood and young family programming. JCC Chicago is the largest Jewish community center in North America and in deep service to children, tweens and teens, young adults and young families. Across seven early childhood centers, nine Apache Day Camp locations, JCC Camp Shy Overnight Camp in Wisconsin, teen programming and community offerings across Chicagoland, the J reaches 65,000 people every year. I talk a lot about growing good kids. With nearly 10,000 young people directly connected to the J, we have a responsibility to instill <laughs> humanity's core values, acceptance, kindness, unity, and hope. We need a little hope these days, and there is nothing more hopeful than our up-and-coming generations of citizens and leaders. When I see a child embrace a new friend at the J, a friend in refuge from the war in Ukraine, a friend who needs extra help in the classroom or camp group, a friend who looks different from themselves, I am very hopeful about our future. And I see these moments every day at the J. Our young people have remarkable recognition of what is good and what is right. For our littlest learners to teens heading off to college, JCC Chicago is focused on community, our big, beautiful, shared community. <laughs> the kind of community I hope for is one in which understanding and upstanding is the norm. One of our marquee teen offerings is Jewish Student Connection, which operates <laughs> Jewish after school clubs in 22 secular high school communities, including Jones College Prep, where an anti-Semitic incident last fall was in the news. JCC teen leaders were instrumental in addressing what they perceived as ignorance, calling for better, more meaningful Holocaust education for their peers. They did not condemn, they took action for good. And this is what we mean when we talk about growing good kids. Violins of Hope Chicago could not be more timely. At the end of March, 70 Holocaust era stringed instruments arrived in Chicago for the largest and most expansive Violins of Hope initiative to date. These violins tell the human story of the Holocaust. Mm -hmm. Today we have four incredible violins with us. One play by an Austrian musician in Shanghai, the Pentagon violin from Germany, the Winninger violin that was rescued from Ukraine, and the Bielski German klezmer violin. The Bielski klezmer violin, which will be played today, is dedicated to the Bielski partisans who lived, fought, and saved more than 1,200 Jews as leaders of the resistance. They survived living in the forest, constantly on the move to avoid detection and capture. Founder of Violins of Hope, Amnon Weinstein's wife, is the daughter of one of the three brothers who formed the Bielski Brigade in Belarus. Klezmer musicians were self-taught, and their instruments, although inexpensive, were commonly adorned with Jewish symbols. On and on are the stories of resiliency and survival and hope. They are stories that we hope you will all remember. JCC Chicago is serving as community host for Violence of Hope Chicago. Planning has been underway for more than four years, and it is more relevant today than when we began. We could not be more excited about and proud of the strong interest across Chicagoland and Illinois, with more than 100 offer offerings confirmed, concerts, performances, exhibits, educational programs. The interest and support has been overwhelming. Violence of Hope Chicago is JCC Chicago's programmatic response to a dramatic rise in anti-Semitism and hateful speech and actions. We are proud to join Cook County to be united against hate. The United Against website says, hate does not have a place in Cook County. Today we are not only hoping for a beautiful future, but we are working together to make it a reality. It is my true pleasure today to introduce Madam President Tony Preckwinkle, President of the Cook County. Thank you. Thank you very much and good morning, everybody. Good morning. 
Before I begin my remarks, let me acknowledge a few people. Uh, David Nankin, who's president of the JCC, the Jewish Community Centers in Chicago. President and CEO of JCC Chicago, Addie Gold Goodman. Cook County Commissioner Scott Britton. Allison Pure Sloven from the Simon Wiesenthal Center. Jonah Cartman, who's our violinist. And Alicia Gonzalez, Cubs Charities Executive Director. I want to thank all of you for the work you do to make today possible. As we welcome violins of hope to our community, we're reminded of one of the most difficult moments in our history and the devastating consequences that occur when hate is allowed to fester and grow. So I'm a history teacher and I'm a sucker for um, <coughs> um, historical fiction. And uh, I spent the weekend binging on something called Transatlantic on Netflix, uh, which is the story of the Emergency Rescue Committee in Marseille that saved 2,000 people from the Nazis. And it's a reminder that ordinary people can do amazing things if they're willing to uh, stand up to bullies and bigots. This exhi exhibition also reminds us that the human spirit is stronger than those who wish to extinguish it. And ultimately, good people of conscience must stand together to defeat hate. I'm honored to be part of today's program. This is a powerful way to demonstrate our commitment to ensuring that hate has no place in Cook County. Cook County has zero tolerance for racism, anti-Semitism, all other forms of discrimination and racism. My administration will continue to invest in opportunities and programs that fight hate by promoting equity, social justice, and reform throughout our region. Last year, Cook County launched Cook County United Against Hate to further demonstrate our commitment to fighting discrimination. This campaign raises awareness and provides actionable ways residents can respond to all forms of hate. Residents can sign up online to pledge to join the movement. Go to www.cookcountyunitedagainsthate.com to learn more. That's cookcountyunitedagainsthate.com to learn more. Now let me just say, the member of our Board of Commissioners who was the driving force behind this effort is with us today, Scott Britton, and you'll hear from him shortly. Um, credit where credit is due, it's really Scott who organized his colleagues on our Board of Commissioners to pass uh, this resolution. Thirty years ago, Cook County's Department of Human Rights and Ethics enacted the Human Rights Ordinance that protects residents from discrimination and harassment in employment, public accommodations, housing, and credit transactions. This was a major step to protect all Cook County residents and to, to ensure that everyone is treated fairly. This department also provides proactive training opportunities to residents to prevent future instances of hate. Last year, the county hosted 160 trainings, outreach events, and meetings that reached thousands and thousands of residents. Informing residents about discrimination and racism is critical to creating a better Cook County for everyone and fostering awareness of historical wrongs is a key component in that fight. That's why I'm proud to welcome Violins of Hope to our community. It's hard to fathom the unspeakable crimes that were committed against millions of innocent men, women, and children during the Holocaust simply because they were Jewish. And we should be reminded it wasn't only the Jews that were killed in the concentration camps. The Nazis made an effort to wipe out the gypsy population, and actually a larger proportion of the gypsy population was decimated than the Jewish population. They killed communists, they killed socialists, they killed people who had physical and mental um, <coughs> challenges. 10 million people. Not just 6 million Jews, but 10 million people. We're obligated to know this horrible history so that we will never repeat it. We must also remember that the people lost to the Holocaust were individuals who had rich lives filled with families, love, and yes, music. So today, let's honor those who perished, not for the way their lives ended, but for the way they lived their lives. Thank you. Thank you, President Preckwinkle, for such beautiful words and for being here today. It is my pleasure to introduce to you now Commissioner Scott Britton, and I just want to share his staff has been fantastic to work with, so shout out to a great team. Thank you, Commissioner Britton. Yeah, they do make me look good, which I appreciate. Uh, again, and my thanks to uh, President and CEO of the JCC, Addie Goodman, 
uh, the boss, as I call her, President Tony Preckwinkle, and all of those, particularly uh, my partners from Simon Wiesenthal, Alison Pierce Sloven. It's an incredible honor to participate in the unveiling of this, uh, these precious artifacts through the Violins of Hope program. I'm grateful to the partnership with JCC Chicago to amplify this transformative educational experience through our collaboration with Cook County United Against Hate. Cook County United Against Hate was launched last year to address, educate, and shine a light on efforts to fight hate. And this is our symbol, a symbol of hope and unity in contrast to the symbols of hate that we see too often in our society. Cook County United Against Hate is a pledge to unite against hate and to welcome all people, regardless of their background or identity, and to support tolerance and justice in policy, proclamation, and practice. As we celebrate uh, Yom HaShoah, the Holocaust Day of Remembrance in less than a week, these violins of hope serve as a physical reminder of that horrific manifestation of hate and how we have resiliently fought back against it. Indeed, hate is so starkly juxtaposed by the beauty of resiliency, nurturing, and love, that when these violins are played, we can see that the Cook County United Against Hate initiative has a real life in our county and seeks to be a beacon of hope and light in the face of hate that sadly continues to pervade our lives. Just as the violins have so beautifully been carefully restored, Cook County United Against Hate seeks to rebuild community faith and ties that have been broken by hate, particularly recently. Restoring these magnificent violins has taken time and patience. It also takes patience and perseverance to eradicate all forms of hate. Despite the horrors that of those who owned and played these violins had to endure, these instruments are now once again able to bring joy and understanding to so many. Despite all the divisiveness and hate that we see in our society, let us not give up hope that we have a better future. Alone, a violin creates beautiful music, but when it is joined with others, it creates an immersive orchestral experience. It is, of course, possible to combat hate alone, but it is much easier and more effective and a more transformative experience when the community comes together to unite against hate in all its ugly forms. These lessons from the Violins of Hope that we hope to take with us today will unite us against hate and remember that good can and will do justice if we work together. Through Cook County United Against Hate, we are committed to empowering everyone to do more to end hate of all kinds and champion efforts towards social justice. Through Violins of Hope, residents across the county will have the opportunity to connect with the history of those who have stood up against hate. At a time when, and one of the few times in our calendar when we have the holidays of Ramadan, Passover, and Easter coincide, let us all combine together to be united in our commitment to unite against hate. Hate has no home in Cook County, and I thank you for being here today. Thank you, Commissioner Britton, so much for your words that are so inspiring and so supportive in all of what we're trying to accomplish together. It is now my pleasure to bring to the podium Alicia Gonzalez, Executive Director of Cubs Charities and a fantastic supporter of JCC Chicago and our wonderful young families and early childhood kids here at Heller. Thank you. Thank you, Addie, so much for that lovely introduction. And thank you, Madam President Preckwinkle, for your attendance here today and your support of this wonderful cause. And thank you, Commissioner Britton. Um, we are honored here at Cubs Charities, my colleague Heather Way Kitsis and I, to invest in opportunities like this. Uh, since 2017, we have invested almost $3 million in our educational partners uh, in our neighborhood. But more importantly, we've invested more than $44 million throughout our entire city of Chicago. One of the things that I was thinking about as you all were talking, um, one of my heroes um, is Nelson Mandela. And Nelson Mandela said that sport has the power to unite and sport has the power to build hope where there was once despair. Sport is a part of Cubs Charities. It is what we focus on. It is what we believe can bring us all together but also music and art does the same thing. So I'm honored that we're able to, you know, honor our past with the violins, but also invest in our future, in these young children that are going to be the hope that this city and that this country needs. So thank you again for being such wonderful partners. We're excited to announce that we are investing another $25,000 in the JCC. So we'd like to present that check to all of you today. Thank you.
Thank you. A little bit of housekeeping to get set for the unboxing of a few incredible violins of hope. And um, we are proud to have a portion of the collection here for you today. And it is my pleasure to turn things over to David Nankin, chairman of the JCC Chicago Board of Directors, to do the incredible honor of unboxing these violins. David. Every instrument is beautiful and brings a piece of history. And we are so fortunate that one of the hallmarks of Violins of Hope is you can touch them and you can play them. So it is my honor to bring to the podium a fantastic young musician who's going to share a little bit of this hopeful music with us today. beautiful instrument and a beautiful message that I'm so happy to share with you all today. Um, as a violinist of Jewish descent, I also find a very personal connection to playing this instrument and um, I hope you all enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. 
breathtaking. Um, this concludes our formal program this morning. Thank you for being here. Many of us are staying behind for any additional questions, any other conversation we'd like to have. Again, on behalf of JCC Chicago, the Florence G. Heller JCC Early Childhood Center and Violins of Hope Chicago, we are so proud to partner with Cook County United Against Hate and thankful for the opportunity to share our work together with you today. Thank you.